a breach of this level on the weekly RSI of 44 would be horrific. I cannot stress this enough. How do I explain this in simple terms? Hello everyone, Steve Courtney shares his latest Bitcoin analysis with near-term price prediction and the most anticipated moves. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon, and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. What you can see here is things are heating up. You can see this red line on my chart right here. This is called a trend line. A trend line needs to have at least three touch points to be active. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. We've got a lot. Now, keep in mind, for 200 days, we have been trending down, but there's no more room to budge. Things are about to break. We are at a breaking point and things are about to heat up, which is why Bitcoin is just about to get ready to have its largest move in 200 days. You can see this trend line here and look no further than the trend line I showed you for this one was about 700 days. We covered this for the 700 days that we were trending here. And we were getting ready to break in one direction or in another when we were down at 15, 16, 17,000. And I said repeatedly, if we have a break to the upside, it's going to be a monumental move. Now, luckily for you, this is what I had to say when Bitcoin was at 15, 16, 70,000, because the talk of the town was, don't buy until we get to 6K, 7K, maybe 8K, but 100% we're going below 10K. That's what everybody thought. That was the talk of the town. Nobody wanted to buy at 15, 16, 17,000, but this is what I had to say. Roll the clip. The charts that I studied are saying that the bottom is in. So if you're waiting for prices to dip below 10K, I don't think it's ever going to happen. So at that time, it was ridiculous ridiculously silly to say what I had to say, but I based it all on facts, just like I based it when we were at 74,000 and I told you a surprise correction was coming and it wasn't going to be pretty. We haven't touched 74,000 since. Back in the day when we were at 15, 16,000, I was screaming to buy Bitcoin. Nobody wanted to listen to me. They said I was crazy. They said you should lock me in the mental hospital, but here we are. And you can see if anybody bought at 15, 16, 17,000, which I believe a high majority of my audience did, you can see how you would be literally treated like a superhero in today's world, which is what I told you time and time again. Now, that was a trend line of 700 days that we broke out and we went from 15, 16,000 to 74. That was a monumental move. I need you to get ready for these kind of pressure cooker moves because they are not small and they are not for the faint of heart. What you can see is we've got about 200 days. It's not the 700 days pressure cooker that we had here, but we've got 200 days and we have a base. So things are really, really heating up. When you look at it, you can see our base that we created with this pivot back in the middle of the year, July 2024 right? But it dates all the way back to here, August 2023, more than a year ago, creating this critical market structure. But it didn't start there. When you draw that line on your chart and you go all the way back, you got to go all the way back to 2012, right? More than 12 and a half years ago, we started creating this market structure, and then again in 2014, and then again in 2018, and then again in 2019. This market structure has been going on for decades, right? Now, what you can see is we had that breakout of our pressure cooker here. We shot up, and we came back down to confirm our market structure. And then we went to our all-time high. And since then, in the past 200 days, coming back down, back down to where? Back down to our market structure. I need to state this very, very clearly and very, very simply. If Bitcoin were to break this yellow line, it would be breaking market structure of over 
two years for the entirety of the bowl. This would be devastating. This would add several months of turmoil and several extra months of recovery if Bitcoin were to break this yellow line. It sounds so simple just to breach this yellow line, which on the weekly scale is at about 44.6. Draw it on your charts because this is monumental. If Bitcoin were to breach this, with a confirmation of a candle below this 44 level, we are in deep trouble. It's a broken market structure of a multi-year bull trend. This would be devastating. It would be a spiral out of control in price action. It would be a bloodbath. It would be ridiculous. Now, if Bitcoin were to break this red line to the upside, it would be the exact opposite. These are not going to be small moves. It would be a devastatingly spiral move to the downside and it would be a monumental move to the upside this move is not one that's going to be little and methodical this will be an explosive move which bitcoin likes to do after a period of consolidation we understand with the Gaussian channel, we understand the quicksand, we've been in there 50 days, we understand the bull flag, we understand the top of the channel, we're holding the, the median line as support, we understand price action with the 21 SMA, holding it as resistance right now, we understand the range bound 200 days, but the key is right here in the middle of our screen. We're in a pressure cooker, and what you can see right now as we speak is right here we are potentially making a breakout but again this will only confirm on sunday 11:59 utc time anything movement before then is irrelevant so we do see a potential that we're in the very beginning of a breakout but only on sunday 11:59 utc time we look at the chart and we see the facts period so a move to the upside through this red line will be explosive and it would be highly likely that if we were to break this red line it'll be driven by a stochastic rsi cross which by the way we can see we are potentially in the early stages of that as well now let's be hypothetical for a minute let's say hypothetically we get this stochastic rsi cross it confirms on sunday that means that we're going to have a breakthrough of this red line if both of those things are true what should we look for well it would be highly likely that we're going to burst through this 21 sma and test the top of our channel which is around this 73 74k it's highly likely if we have a breakthrough of this and a true stochastic rsi cross that we will test the top of this channel or at the very very least into the 70 into the 70 area because that would be this kind of previous pivot high as we can see here now that's at a minimum but again i told you that all the moves in between 74 and 54 are pretty much irrelevant because it just means we have more range bound action right now a move of that magnitude would potentially create a new all-time high we're gonna have to see how the facts and the charts align and if importantly if we are going to see another fake out of the stochastic rsi now keep in mind with the stochastic rsi we have a pivot high here of june 2024 and we have a higher high of july 24. if this were a true stochastic rsi cross we need it to get higher we don't want a fake out false signal here meaning that we had a high a higher high and then a lower high we want continuous higher highs heading in here because that my friends is a trend and you never want to bet against a trend so what you can see on the downside here is a breach of this i cannot stress enough a breach of this level on the weekly rsi of 44 would be horrific i cannot stress this enough how do i explain this in simple terms for the whole bull market for two years the whole bull market has acted on structure above here a break of that would throw away all of the work bitcoin has done the blood sweat and tears bitcoin has put in to build structure it would throw it all in the trash that would be horrific it would literally add several months of recovery it would definitely coincide with this gaussian channel 
right? Because according to the facts and the charts, we're supposed to be stuck in here for a while, right? We don't want to be, but we're supposed to be. So what you have on your hands is a pressure cooker and things are about to break. And we're inside of a chart pattern. You never trade inside of a chart pattern. You want to trade on a confirmation and it's going to come down to the wire on this Sunday, 11.59 UTC time, where the RSI is. Is it going to be below this 44 level? level or are we going to be above this 50 level right above the 50 level on sunday means we're in the clear and things are probably going to be heating up in a good way below the 44 level watch the hell out it's going to be many more months of recovery thank you for watching the interview highlights of steve courtney if you enjoyed this highlight video please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content thank you